What are these? And what are they used for? When we buy our canvases from the store or get them delivered online, they usually come in this, uh, this clear plastic wrapping that we take out and take, well, remove before painting. But behind that, you usually get these little wooden slips just, uh, just either sometimes stapled to the stretcher bars or, or just loosely placed in here. But what do they do? What purpose do they serve? And uh, can it improve our painting? Let's, uh, let's get them out of here and put them in situ and see if it makes any difference. A canvas needs to be taut and tight before painting so there are no wrinkles or sagging areas that could affect the final outcome of the painting. If a canvas is loose, it can cause the brush strokes to distort, the paint to drip and run, and the overall appearance of the painting may suffer. A tight canvas creates a smooth surface that is easier to paint and ensures that the paint adheres evenly across the surface of the canvas. This is why the stretching of a canvas is important prior to painting. Right, so onto the easel. So this is just uh, my wall mounted easel. Now I've turned it this way and we're just going to take a little palette knife and just crack open the cellophane and rip that open and take out these little stretcher wedges. Okay, we'll just put them there for safekeeping. Remove all the polythene and be careful and uh, be sure to recycle this, yeah? And we'll, we'll pop the, uh, we'll put the canvas this way, just like that. Now, if we take a little, let's get a little, a, a little brush, we can, Give it a little bit of a drum beat, okay? And 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 this actually, this is not a bad canvas. It feels quite taut as it is, and I think some of that that tightness comes with the, uh, the priming of the canvases after the uh, they've been stapled to the to the uh, to the stretches. But I could be wrong on that. I usually am. So if we just flip the canvas around, and just sit that in the uh, in the easel. We'll put in the wedges, and we'll show you where we go from there. So we've turned the canvas around. You see the natural color of the canvas after it's been primed and we get these little wedges, okay? So there should be uh, eight, two for each corner, yeah? And we'll just open these up. All right, and we'll take two of these wedges out. We'll start off with two, put them there. And we'll work on each corner at a time. We'll take the wedge, and we'll pop that down, and we'll pop it in there just like that and slide it along the bar like so. Just take the wedge and forgive the fingers that get in the way and we'll just slide it along parallel like that and push in as hard as you can. Okay, and we'll take the opposite one and it goes down there like that. We'll push that down and in. Okay, nice and snug. Okay. And then we're going to repeat that on every single corner. We'll turn the canvas around, make it nice and square. Two more wedges. Again, pop it in this way. Cross it goes into where it belongs and push in. There, like so. And then down. And then push down like that. Now, if we have a wedge that seems to be a little bit too tight and doesn't want to go into the aperture in the back of the canvas, we can take a little bit of sandpaper and just rub it until it removes enough wood so it slides in. And of course, if we've got one that is a little bit too baggy, what we can do is just take a little bit of his linseed oil and just paint that on the wedge and that will swell up as it absorbs into the uh, to the wedge we'll push that in and it'll swell up and hold itself steady perfect ah, there we go so now all those wedges are in nice and tight well they're only finger tight really we can take out the canvas and just flip it over pop him back into the easel and give him a little test okay see if it 
so that sounds a lot more taut and a lot more tight but we can go one step further because we've only pushed them in just just by hand so just flip the canvas back over firmly put the canvas in the easel now we need something pretty solid so i'm going to use my spirit level which i, I use for, for lining up the canvases with and all i'm going to do is just knock each wedge into place okay into place like that you do it same chase the corners just around like so so you bed them all in and you sit them all over and be careful, be careful not to drop your spirit level on your toes. <laughs> be careful not to uh, not to damage the canvas itself. Okay, so with the last one tightened up, we can pop the canvas back the right way around now and let's give it one more final tap. There we go, so that's a nice tight canvas ready for painting on. Well, I hope you've enjoyed this nice little tip video and let me know if it works for you. Let me know if I've got everything right. My, they're a bit of a minefield of canvas wedges, especially when you're starting out. Um, don't forget to subscribe. Give me a big old thumbs up. Leave me a nice big comment as well. And until next time, take care of yourself. Stay safe. Happy days.